Make It Vegan with Vicky and Ayana. Vicky, tell us what we're making today. Ayana, today we are making the most beautiful little cookie you will ever make. Oh. Spritz butter cookies. Spritz they have butter cookies. almonds in them and they are so delicious. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to decorate these beauties. We're doing them red, white, and blue. I know, and we're gonna veganize them too. So, if you wanna see it, keep watching. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Vicki, tell us whose recipe are we making today? My cookie hero, Rose Levy Berenbaum. We're making her spritz butter cookies, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to make these absolutely divine tasting and looking cookies. We mm -hmm. get to decorate them any way we want, and today we're sprinkling them red, white, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I can't wait. So we're gonna veganize this, of course. That's why you're here. So we're gonna swap out the butter. For plant-based butter, we have Earth Balance, our tried and true. And now we're gonna swap out the eggs for our just egg. So guys, I can't wait to dive in. You ready? Let's get mixing. Let's do it. <laughs> the first step in this fabulous recipe is toasting your half cup of almonds. Now, I always set a timer because they tend to burn real fast and you don't want that. So here's what they look like untoasted. And here's your finished product. And now we're gonna grind them super fine. Look at that beautiful texture and color we've got going. Oh my gosh, oh, I, I love it. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> Powder fine and it's gonna make the most delicate cookie. This recipe calls for two cups of flour. We use the dip and sweep method to measure it out. Mm -hmm. And then, as I have always told you, Always sift your flour if you want the most <laughs> wonderfully delicate cookies that just melt in your mouth. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get this into you guys' as noggin so you'll never forget it. Sift your flour. Exactly. <laughs> it makes such a difference you have no idea. And we're gonna add just a pinch of salt to this. Mm-hmm. And now we're just going to add our finely ground almonds to the mix. Mm. Look at how beautiful that is. I love it. All right, we've got our earth balance butter. We're gonna and pop in here. Room temperature. Room temperature, Room so temperature. you don't. So when you beat it all together, you don't have to worry about softening it. Mm-hmm. So we're doing a cup, right? This, this recipe requires a cup of butter, and mm -hmm. in this instance, we're using our Earth Balance unsalted butter. Unsalted butter, eight ounces total. Now, the reason we use unsalted butter and then add salt to the recipe is so that we can control the salt. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and now we're going to add our egg substitute, which is just eggs, mm -hmm. and the recipe calls for three tablespoons plus a half a teaspoon. And always make sure you give it a good shake before using so everything gets blended together. So you got that nice color in there. Here's our half. sugar and how much sugar was that we've got three quarters of a cup of sugar for this wonderful and here we go so after three minutes this is how light and fluffy this earth balance and the just eggs and the sugar look it is just absolutely gorgeous and it's going to make the most melt in your mouth cookies you will ever ever eat <laughs> so we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract okay and a teaspoon of almond extract 
all the extracts going into this recipe. It makes such a difference. I don't think I make any cookies without extracts. Oh wow, it smells so good. <laughs> Woo! You know, Ayana, one thing that I've noticed working with the Earth Balance is that it doesn't crawl up the sides of the pan. Mm. Okay. It sort of stays in the center, which is, makes it easier to handle. I love that. Yeah, me too. Okay, what's next? We have our, our combination of the this flour, our or almonds, and salt. salt. And our pinch of salt. All right, here we go. I always add the flour mixture in parts so it doesn't get clumpy in there. You mm. want a nice, smooth, creamy texture. All right, here we go. Just a little at a time. Yeah, you don't want to overdo that. All right, this is the final look of it all. All blended together. Get all that gooey goodness oh, off. It smells so good. Doesn't it? <laughs> Where the mm -hmm. sugar. I was telling Ayana earlier that if I had to pick one cookie to make, it would be this one. It is such a great cookie. What? <laughs> Not the almond crescent cookie? What? They're all delicious. They're like your mm. kids. You can't pick your favorite. But if I was forced to, I would buy yes. this cookie over and over and over again. So oh. much fun all the way around. All right, you guys heard it. I can't wait to try these out. All right, we're transferring it over to a bowl, because we're gonna let this chill, right? We gotta let it chill for? Just a short time, just to give it a little more body. Mm. So when we put it through our spritzer, it's easier to handle. And also, when it's the dough's a little bit chilled, your cookies won't spread out. All They'll right. keep their shape. And you'll see, the shape is the thing here. Yep, that's what we're going for. So we're just going to cover it up and pop it in the fridge. Okay. And for how long? Just like 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Just All 40 right. Minutes. So as for this recipe, you do need some specialized equipment. You can use a pastry bag or you can use one of these handy dandy little biscuits maker. This one happens to be Italian and look at all the choices you get to the shapes that you can use. And how you achieve them is you just pop these discs out. and change them out. I think today, we're gonna to use this shape. So you just screw that back on there. And then we unscrew the top. Put our dough in there and press them out. And look at these split. So we chilled our dough for about 40 minutes just to make it easier to handle. And we're going to take this lovely dough and we're going to put it in our cylinder. Oh, it thickened up, didn't it? It did. You don't have to worry about packing it in too tight because the machine does that for you. Oh, nice. I love that. All right, now we're going to. All right, we're winding it up. <laughs> here you go. Okay. And here we go. Ooh, look at those. These are so cute. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump in and help you with this. I think you do. <laughs> at this it's not that difficult to learn <laughs> yes. um, once you stuff this little machine full of your dough mm -hmm. then you the trick is to hold it very flat against the pan and then once you set your lever you just push it down okay here we go and 
Did I do it? Did I do it? No, it's still there. <laughs> okay, you might have to prime it. Oh, okay. There. That's we got it, it guys. We're, we're, we're getting it together. There. Oh. Lift it up. <gasps> and you have a cookie. Look at that, Vicky. Okay, look, I got this. I got this, guys. Here we go. So I'm going to go right here. Okay, it sounds like something's coming up. Oh, I love it. Oh. I'm moving too much, I think. Oh, this That's is such okay. a baby they one. It still look beautiful. <laughs> okay, I can't go fast like Vicky. Let me, let me, I'll get it together. Here we go. Ah, oh, I love this. Ooh, okay, that one's not as pretty, but it's fine. <laughs> the cookies are gonna taste delicious. Oh, they're so adorable. Ah, oh, I love these. <laughs> Okay, how are they bearing out compared to the beautiful. ones that you just did? They're beautiful. The original recipe. They are. They look very much exactly the same, so we're going to keep look, our fingers crossed that they taste as good as the original. They look very buttery, you know? They buttery do. Smooth. Beautiful. Yay, look at that. <laughs> We have our sanding sugar, red, white, and blue, ready to go. So we've spritzed our cookies onto these pans. We've got five dozen, and now for the sprinkling, the fun part. Yeah, <laughs> let's get the sprinkling. So I have blue, and you have the red. And we've got some white. Of course, <laughs> let's get to it. Okay. Don't be shy with the sanding sugar. Right, I'm gonna put a lot on here. I'm gonna dump it on here. Ooh. Oh, it's such a beautiful colors. I love it. It's so much fun to decorate cookies. I know, we're decorating. So cute. And they're so buttery and chunky. They look gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna trade places with you. Okay, woo, let's do it. <laughs> Let me know if I'm getting enough blue on here. That's am, plenty. Am I doing much? Yeah, that's plenty. You can't All go right. wrong. Can't go wrong. Wish y'all could help us. <laughs> but we're gonna show you guys the end result. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, these look so cute. And then we're gonna top it with some white just for a final touch. Oh, so cute. Look at we this. Go. More red. I think we need more red. A little more. Yeah, I think the I feel like the red kind of uh, the blue washed out the red on this one, mm -hmm. but it, it, I think putting the blue on the bottom is probably the best. Mm -hmm. And then have the red. Oh, look at that white. Oh, it's so cute. Gorgeous. All right, guys. Y'all looking at this? Ah. All right. To the oven they and go. they go. Time to take them out. Look at <gasps> these. Just oh my goodness. Look at those babies. And here we go. Oh my goodness. Ah. Here is your perfect cookie. Ooh, isn't it a pretty one indeed? Mm -hmm. But they're all gonna taste perfectly wonderful, I can tell you that. <laughs> Oh, look at those babies. Oh, look at that kitty. That little baby one. <laughs> oh, and then there's his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Are still warm and I cannot wait to taste them. Me too. Oh, so beautiful. All right, we are done baking the cookies. Woo! Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna taste them. The moment of truth. Time to dive in. Oh, all of these look good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. So picture perfect. Look at this. Look 
Pecky. They're so beautiful. Okay, here we go. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. These are so good. This right here. This mm. right here. Oh mm. my gosh. Um, buttery, melt in your mouth. Oh my gosh, this is like gooey. Like even the the, the sugar on top, the sprinkling is just like the ever so oh. delicate touch. These yeah. are amazing. Get into Spritz it. Non-butter cookies. <laughs> Get into it. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this. Mm, yeah. I'm in love. I'm in love. This is so good, Vicky. I told you. If there was one cookie that I, if you made me only make one cookie for the rest of your life, this one. it would be this one. Uh. I'm a fan. I, mm. I would concur. Mm. I'm, I'm ready mm, for that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, good. Mm. Ooh. All right, guys. Ooh. Now that we've scarfed down those delicious oh. cookies, it is time mm. to go and do the final review. So, Vicky, walk us through original versus vegan. How was the baking final result process? You know what? These were such a dream to make. That Earth Balance butter, oh. They the real Thank MVP. You. They the real MVP right there. Okay. They really are. <laughs> and the Just Eggs was a great substitute yes. for our real eggs. Mm -hmm. And all the way across the board, yes. it was the same experience. Yeah. And I can't tell you how much you're gonna love mm -hmm. these cookies. They yes. make your mouth water. You will be dreaming about them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be dreaming about them right <laughs> now. Okay, so good. And again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching us make it vegan because that's what we do here. We make it vegan and make it scrumptious. So if you like this, make sure you share, like, comment, all that good stuff so we can do more of this amazing content. All right, bye guys.